LearnToFly.ca and LearnToFly.tv. It's Jeff McKay from LearnToFly.ca. I'm here with a captain from the Canadian Forces. This is Holly, and we're standing in front of a CF-18 Hornet right behind us. An amazing airplane. Can you tell us about this airplane? Yeah, it's an amazing airplane. It's uh, Canada's frontline multi-purpose fighter. <laughs> The snowbirds are going over right now as we're doing this. So, uh, <laughs> so, so it's an amazing, amazing airplane. It's it is an amazing order. airplane. It's Canada's frontline multi-role fighter jet, yep. carrying out a wide range of functions. We use it everything from training pilots to doing northern sovereignty patrols, protecting our Arctic sovereignty, our coastlines, you name it, through our yep. NORAD partnerships. And I love the paint scheme. The this paint year. scheme is awesome it's this year. It's awesome. This Another year. snowboard going over <laughs> as we're doing our video tape. Yeah. Well, every year the, the the demo hornet has a different theme for the team. Last year we had supporting our military families. This year it's uh, true north, strong, and free. I see the thirteen snowflakes. Thirteen you must snowflakes. Have a, a special meaning, right? Yeah, well, there are, and you know every snowflake is unique. Yes. So of course, uh, unique to the design of the snowflakes on this aircraft yep. is there are thirteen, uh, basically to represent the 13 provinces and territories across Canada. Oh, great idea, terrific, yes. Coincidentally, nice. we have 13 wings across Canada. Yep. And even more coincidentally, we have 13 team members this year. So oh, 13 is yeah, kind of an important really number well. for us this year, it does. And it's a member of your team or a member of your squadron who actually did the artwork? Actually, the, the artwork is done, it's led by Jim Beliveau. Jim yep. Beliveau is with the graphic, he's the graphic design director at uh, 410 Squadron up at Cold Lake, um, Cold Lake, Alberta. And is he the same guy who did it last year? He's been doing it for 20 years. years. Oh wow, 20 years, good. yeah. Yeah, and I think, I think he does himself a little bit every year. Yeah. Um, this year it's it's spectacular. I mean the colors are great. The snowflakes, we've got a lot of Arctic imagery on there showing like the that northern. Bear. The polar bear, we yeah, love the polar nice. bear. The polar <laughs> bear, we got the aurora borealis, you know, symbol yeah. of the north. So a lot of imagery that symbolizes Canada's northern regions. And of course this all ties in with our theme, the true north strong and free. And I know there's a couple different variations of a CF-18. You've got the, the single seat and, and a got dual. The, the we dual have a dual. Seats. We don't have as many of the duals, yep. but of course the dual is, uh, is an important instrument for us for uh, training Pilots. For training, of course. Yep. In fact, a, a duel was used to uh, train up Paco this year because oh, he flew it, with uh, last year's pilot in the back on several missions. And Paco, of course, is Captain Patrick Gobey. Patrick Gobey. That's uh, Captain Patrick Gobey. Patrick Gobey. Paco. Paco. We're going to yeah. be meeting up with in just a few minutes. And he's yeah. going to take us inside the cockpit of the CF-18. Yeah, we'll do that. So this is a very GoPro. It's a GoPro Hero 2, which we're going to be mounting. I guess Paco's going to mount it inside the cockpit. Inside the canopy, here. yep. That way we get exclusive footage for LearnToFly.ca of Paco flying at the Waterloo Air Show doing all his maneuvers. Uh, hopefully he does one of those dirty roll takeoffs. I know oh, you know he's going to do that. He's going to do that. Fantastic. Yep. Looking forward to that. And we mentioned that there is another CF-18 back here as well. We're just going to wander around and look at the other CF-18, which is the two-seater one. Come on around here. And then the instructor. Where's the instructor sit? The instructor will sit in the back usually uh, yep. behind the student. and. Uh, Gives him the opportunity to watch and monitor everything and uh, take over if he has to. to <laughs> who wouldn't want to go for a ride to CF-18? I mean. So you can see here on the side of the Hornet, we can see uh, Patrick's name up here, Captain Patrick Gobey, or Paco. And uh, of course, this is his uh, CF-18. This is his ride. And if you had to sum up this airplane, how would you describe it? It's awesome. <laughs> this, this particular aircraft is yeah. the best looking plane on the planet. The best looking plane, the best looking I have plane to agree. on the planet. It's One great. amazing airplane you have here. Yes, I have, uh, we have a very good looking airplane this year. I'm pretty proud of the uh, of the airplane, the way it looks. Uh, Jim Billivo designed it in uh, in uh, Cold Lake. That's his. Oh, the 13 snowflakes? Yeah, it's like, boy, yeah, there's uh, 13 snowflakes on the airplane and yep. they to represent like uh, the wings and the uh, provinces. Uh, uh, in territories in Canada, Canada yes, yeah. and they each represent something. It is actually amazing. You can have a look at all of the designs. We have it on Facebook pages and they all mean something uh, and cool they're all about unique. Canadian. Like all unique. The snowflake is unique. Exactly. And, and you can spend a lot of time just looking around the airplane and trying to figure out exactly what they mean. And like I said, they're on the Facebook page and, yep. and they all represent something unique about the Canadian history. And I understand you also have 13 members on the CF-18 uh, demo team. That's right. And each snowflake represents one of the 13 members. Yeah, well, right? which is pretty cool. 
so everybody like we all have a jackets done this year yeah. and, and everybody's got their their own snowflake and, and you it's have in your the back own of your jacket. snowflake up at the front that's right i guess the maple leaf yeah that's uh yeah that's the one uh that's the one uh, there in the front with uh, the uh, canadian hinook chuck Yep. And understanding you take us in the cockpit now, right? Yeah, let's go have a look inside and see how it looks like. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, welcome to the uh, the cockpit of the uh, CF-18. So, uh, as you can see, lots of uh, lots of buttons, but uh, basically we have like three screens. Uh, we call them uh, DDI, and uh, each of the screens we can display like a lot of uh, different pages on them. Each of those buttons, we have like 21 buttons per screen. Uh, we can display pretty much whatever we want like in the in the setup we'd like uh, most of the time you know the way we fly uh, in tactical mission we'll have like a tactical page at the bottom uh, we'll have obviously our radar on the, one of the screen and uh, either here uh, we uh, you know a lot of the times we'll uh, we'll fly with a targeting pod uh, that we have on the airplane so that's uh, usually the setup we'll, we'll fly uh, just for a standard cross-country mission or when we come back to land now we'll have uh, usually like a backup uh, We have the HUD here, but uh, you know, this is where I could display all of the information airspeed altitude uh, Targeting uh, radar uh, all of the information is there uh, weapons engagement zone all of that stuff, but uh, here uh, we usually put it a backup here we if we fly like in the you know IFR conditions uh, we were cannot uh, really see the ground just in case this one fails and uh, and the rest of it is pretty uh, similar uh, we have the standard uh, uh, standby instruments here as well just as a backup if everything else fails we can still fly the aircraft uh, and uh, bring it uh, bring it down the safely it's almost like a standard six pack there. Yeah, exactly. You know, not the standard uh, T cross check, but yeah. Uh, pretty much like yeah, exactly like the really stuff that you really need: altitude indicator, yeah. airspeed indicator, altitude, and uh, and VSI. So that's uh, that's something we use uh, very often. But obviously, it's there just in case we need it. We've got uh, fuel indications uh, here, tons of gas, uh, as you can see there, and uh, we've got uh, uh, the stick here. Uh, you know, uh, lots of uh, buttons on there. So the F-18 is OTAS, OTASable, so pretty much uh, when I fly, like we have everything uh, in the, we don't really have to uh, leave our hands from the controls, uh, either like to uh, pickle bombs, uh, fire missiles, uh, we can like with this, we can basically select the TDC, with, which we, uh, on any of the screens, and here we have a little mouse that can actually uh, move things around, select the screens on the DDI instead of pushing buttons, so that's a very, uh, and the uh, features we've got obviously two uh, throttles for two engines so we can uh, select them like individually uh, as required are they normally locked together they're not locked together no but we usually obviously like move them together but uh, they're not locked so if we have uh, any type of emergency we want to secure an engine uh, we can just confirm that it's the right engine and we can bring the uh, throttle down to idle or off as as required uh, chaff flare you know radio controls uh, speed brake selection, everything is is on the on the throttles. So very uh, very good on the stick here. We've got nose wheel steering uh, with the uh, uh, down down here to actuate uh, nose wheel steering and control the aircraft underground. So that's uh, pretty much like uh, in a, in a nutshell like uh, the layout of the uh, CF-18 uh, Hornet, and it's very very well done it's probably like one of the best aircraft I've, I've flown a lot of different aircraft i think the cf-18 is the best as far as uh, ergonomics like uh, everything is you know you close your eyes and uh, you know you think about where you would have put things in the cockpit and that's exactly where they are located so it's a very very air, fun aircraft uh, to fly from that perspective but this jet uh, even though there's a paint job on it, you know, like the way you look at it, like the top is a, is kind of for show. There's a nice paint job at the, uh, at the top, but the bottom is still a tactical airplane. Uh, that airplane can go and do like uh, missions in the QRA or uh, go overseas tomorrow. We just have to put pylons and uh, everything is serviceable on it. Targeting pod and we'd be good to go and uh, and do a real uh, either uh, combat missions or NORAD missions uh, tomorrow morning if you wanted to. And obviously it's got an ejector seat. Oh, what, oh, you'll never have to use it, but where would you pull the ejector seat if you had to do that? Yeah, this is a, the new uh, NASA seat and uh, basically like the seat is safe right now, so it, it is safe it's from this. Yeah. yeah, it's disabled from uh, this handle here, but we also have like uh, pins that we put in. So there's a seat pin here. There's a canopy uh, pin as well to prevent the canopy from being uh, actuated uh, on the ground. and. Uh, 
if uh, everything fails and uh, and we have to get out of the aircraft uh, we pull this handle between our legs here and uh, this is what's going to action yeah. the uh, the ejection seat and, and in the canopy and then exactly like the, the sequence of action will be the, the canopy is going to go first and the seat uh, after and uh, seat man separation happens right away and next thing you know you're going down in your parachute and less than a second you're uh, away from the aircraft safely and uh, and you're going down it's ground air boss five by five Okay, hold short at Alpha and uh, call me back for a clearance before you cross Alpha, please. Is that you looking for taxi? Taxi. And you're cleared to taxi Alpha to the, uh, down as far as you like, Russell. And welcome to CF-18 Hornet!
approach. He'll clean it up. Full afterburners. Runway 26, winds are currently 240 at 17 gust 25.
see your wave of appreciation for a job well done. <laughs> Learn to fly.ca and learn to fly.tv.